Hello friends. Today we will learn about air, water and weather of our planet. Air is present all around us. We breathe air, but we cannot see it because it is colorless and odorless. We can only feel the presence of air when it flows. It is made up of Several gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. It also contains dust particles and water vapors. Do you know, nitrogen constitutes about 78% of the air. Water is a liquid without color, smell or taste. That falls as rain and gets collected in lakes, rivers and seas and it is used for drinking, washing, etc. Life is not possible without water. Three-fourths of the earth's surface is covered with water. Water exists in nature in three forms, solid, liquid and gas. Water cycle determines the weather at a place. Through this cycle, we can see that in nature, water keeps changing its forms. With the heat of the sun, water from the water bodies such as lakes, ponds, rivers, oceans and land evaporates and forms water vapors. These water vapors become cool to form tiny droplets of water. These droplets together form clouds and falls in the form of rain. The rainwater again fills the water bodies with water. The atmospheric condition of a particular place at a particular time is known as weather. The weather patterns at a place keep changing every day. The weather at a particular place changes due to four important elements. Sun, wind, clouds and rain. Let us learn about their role in determining weather. The sun plays a very significant role in the change of weather at a place. On a clear, bright sunny day, you feel very hot. You feel very hot at noons as the sun shines brightly over your head. But in the morning and evening, the sun's rays are slanting and you feel less hotter. The sun's energy Heats the air, land and water. This results in the formation of wind, clouds and rain. The blow of air caused by the sun results in the formation of wind. During summer, when no wind blows, it makes us feel muggy and uncomfortable. When wind is soft and gentle, it is called breeze. During summer, sometimes hot wind keeps the people indoors. On the other hand, during winter, the cold and dry wind add chill to the cold weather. Strong winds at times result into storms, uproot the trees, poles, lamp posts, etc. Clouds also bring rain but sometimes the cloudy days and nights are quite warm as the clouds do not allow the heat of the land to escape. On a hot summer day, however, thick clouds do not allow the sun's rays to reach the earth's surface, making cloudy days Less hotter. The rain on a hot summer day brings down the temperature. 
Rainy season in India is called the monsoon season. Excess of rain brings floods. There is a lot of damage to property due to floods. It is the practice of telling the description of what the weather will be for the next few days. Summer is the warmest season of the year. The morning is pleasant and during daytime the temperature rises and we feel very hot. We sweat a lot. We love to wear cotton clothes and try to remain indoors. To beat the heat, we love to drink juices, lemon water, etc. and eat ice cream, watermelon, etc. After hot summer days, the rains are always very welcome. A period of heavy rain in summer is called monsoon. We do not forget to step out of our houses without umbrellas. Rainwater seeps into the soil and all water bodies get filled with water. But rainwater, if collected in puddles, helps mosquitoes to breed and spread diseases. In the monsoon season, we should drink Boiled water. We should avoid eating cut fruits which are kept in the open. The coldest season of the year is called the winter. We prefer to sit in the sun. If the sun is not shining, we try to remain indoors. We wear woolen clothes to prevent us from the cold. We enjoy drinking coffee tea and hot milk. We cover ourselves with quills and blankets in the night. Do you know? Masinram is the place in India which receives the maximum rainfall. Drought is the term used for a place when it receives less than average rainfall. Let us summarize. Air is a mixture of several gases. Air contains several gases, dust particles and water vapors. Water is very important for life forms. It exists in three states. Water cycle is a natural process by which water changes its forms. Sun, wind, rain and clouds play very important role in affecting weather at a place. The summer season is very hot, winter season is very cold and the monsoon season brings a lot of rain.